what to do. We usually try to find an alternative route that we decide upon. Sometimes these decisions can be drastic and harmful, causing injury and possibly even death. Luckily, Joan is not the type of girl to back down. Just ask the soldier she fought. Who cares if she is burned and dies? It is far better, in her opinion, than following the decision of some meager judges. Through her decision, she comes to tell about the joy of God before she goes. Joan of Arc by Bernard Shaw. Perpetual imprisonment. Am I then not to be set free? Give me that writing. Light your fire. Do you think I dread it? But to fight over rat in a hole? My voice is right. Yes, they told me you were fools. And that I was not to listen to your fine words. Trust your cherry. You promised me my life. You lied. You think life is nothing more than not being stone dead. It's not the bread and water I fear. I can live on bread. When if I ask for more? There's no hardship to drink water. If the water be clean. Bread has no sorrow for me. Water, no affliction. Keep me from the light of the sky, from the sight of the fields and the flowers. To chain my feet so I can no longer get ride with the soldiers, or climb the hills to make me breathe foul, damp darkness and keep me from everything that brings me back to the joy of God when your wickedness and your foolishness tempt me to hate him. All of this is worse than the furnace in the Bible that was heated seven times. I can do without my war horse. I can drag the foul and skirt. I can let the knights and the soldiers and the banners and the trumpets Pass me, leave me behind, as they leave all the other women. If only, if only, I could still hear wind in the trees, larks, sunshine, young lambs crying through the healthy frost, and the blessed, blessed church bells that send my angel voices floating back to me on the wind. But without these things, I cannot live. And by you wanting to take them away from me, or from any human creature. I know your counsel is of the devil, mine's of God. His ways are not your ways. He wills I go through the fire to his bosom, for I am his child, and it is not fit that I shall have to live among you. <laughs>